we've had a mystery around here. We sell a ton of colored transparent sheets, mm. but we've never done a webisode on them, and we're a little puzzled as how to use them. What's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you gave it to us designers, right? and we used cutting dies, embossing folders, dazzles, stamps. We just threw everything at it. Pretty much everything we have. You want to see what they did? Come, Come play, play with us. Well, they come wrapped between two sheets of cardboard so that they don't get damaged so at all. Protected, right. So uh, not a fancy wrapping, but right. nonetheless. They also have a kind of a wax or a tissue paper yeah. in between. So you're going to see bright colors when it's laid down on another color. And when that's pulled away, it's much more transparent. You can right. see that. And they're 9 by 12 sheets. And you get two of each color for a total of 10 sheets. You get red yellow, green, orange, and blue. And I do need to tell you, and you'll see this later, when you lay a darker color over a lighter color, you're pretty much going to see the darker color. And okay. if you lay a lighter color over the darker, you're pretty much going to see the darker color. <laughs> should we should we demonstrate that <laughs> yeah, right now? Kind of, we'll see it in some of the dazzles as well, okay. but it is. So if I ways. put the red over the yellow, you're still seeing, you're the still red. seeing red. But if I put yellow, you're over still the red. seeing the red. It doesn't uh, much change the colors. It might make it a little bit more vibrant. Or There are a couple of colors, like possibly red and blue together might give you a little bit of a, a, um, a purple. Mm -hmm. But here you might be a little bit orange. But anyway, okay. so unique ways of stacking them right. gives so you unique results. We're going to start with one of the many ways. And this is a scrapbook page. And look at how that color just pops. It does, and <laughs> I, I purposely made, you know, the black and white and right. the chalkboard papers in the background. I really like kind of that scuffed look for this very masculine page, but then just this pop of color with that colored acetate on the Steampunk Dazzles. Right, so the Steampunk Dazzles are going to give you all of those designs, and since this is the scrapbooking Dazzles, you're going to have larger images. Now, that would be great for card makers, too. Oh, sure, just any one of these little individual yes. items items would make a great embellishment, but this is just kind of a neat way to use them on a travel inspired theme. Right. So how so, do you do that? Okay, well I have the dazzles here. It's been used, it's been cut away. <laughs> here are the dazzles. I have a couple of pieces of the transparent sheets. So I have a red and a yellow. I think I'm going to bring out white so that you can see this a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I have these two pieces. I did cut them down a little bit just because it's easier to put a dazzle on and work with. And I'm going to grab one of these dazzles. Now the nice thing about them is when you put them on the transparent sheets, they come up um, easily if you need to pick them up. Not quite as easy as some other plastics might come up pretty easy, but it works really well. I'm going to start with that red. If I started with the yellow on the center and then put the red on the back, it would all be red. So I'm going to start with oh. the red on the center and then put the yellow on the wings so that you'll be able to see that yellow. Okay. And, and the yellow will go over all the entire dazzle, but I'll start first with the red just on that center piece. So you're going to position it over in the corner. I'm going to position it there just so it makes it easier to cut. And then I'm going to peel back the areas that I don't. So this is just backing backing that dazzle. And I've got some detail scissors, and I'm just going to run around the edge. So this is just backing the center of it. And I'll go around the edge. I'm going to do it kind of quickly. And around you the might just show edge. those scissors too because they're a little different. They're okay. a, a spring loaded spring to loaded. be um, really helpful if you do a lot of cutting or right. if um, for those who've had hand surgery like, like Gail <laughs> or arthritis or just um, you know finding you don't quite have as much strength right. in your hands. But they're great detail scissors. They're short. Mm -hmm. They're short blades, so they're good for for uh, tiny little areas like this. So I'm going to pull that back. I'm almost done going around. And so there. Now with that I have backed only the red, only that center area with the red transparency. And then I take the entire dazzle, it's still sticky on those wings, and place it on the yellow piece, like so. 
and it won't stick in the center, but that's all right because right. these are going to. So now the entire thing is going to be backed on that yellow, and then I go ahead and start trimming it out again just on the outer area like that. And as exciting as it is to watch you cut, I think we'll show the project again. So there's a, how you place the image. Now, you just, um, how did you attach it to your page? Oh, I actually, oh darn, I wish I had brought the product. It's Foam <laughs> Clear Foam Squares, which oh, we sell that's right. on Paper Wishes. And it, they come off in tiny little squares. And it's, you can see it just a tiny little bit, but really it's uh -huh. barely noticeable at all. And I wanted it foam taped up. I wanted that little shadow to come around it. And so the foam squares, the clear ones, work really so well. So you use that on all of them? On all of okay. them. But some of them I placed flat down. So this one I just zotted down, and zots hide real well behind that uh, acetate But you well. foam tape the clock on top. Right. Yes, right. nice. So <clears throat> just a nice mix of laying them down, foam tape them, odd angles, adding a few here. And even that one, that's just a tiny little dazzle. It's just <laughs> a backed with a, just a little bit of that transparency, and then there's a foam square behind it, which you can barely see. Very nice. <laughs> And I love how they're peeking out and right. love the, the blimp up there. <laughs> and I like how this is just all connected visually right. as well. And I, and I made sure that I put some of these lighter color paper strips because I really wanted that to show. Because you can see, and it was the same on this one as that little, see this one mm -hmm. I did, just the red in the middle and yellow behind. This one I started with the red, did that red piece, and then I did the entire dazzle in yellow oh, just to okay. make it easy. And you can still see the yellow, and, and the red doesn't change. And you also did a strip down here, right. and just put the dazzle on top, so it right. made it kind of like a I mat. I was not going to cut around those gears. Smart woman, <laughs> just stand your ground, lady. But that works. Okay. That's a big, long strip. These are not 12 inch right. long, so that's two pieces of it, but you can't really see the seam okay. to where it was put together. Oh, huh, it says they're 9 by 12, so they're not quite oh. by 12. No, well, I don't know. Oh, oh, maybe I didn't get a, a, a whole. Uh, you're right. Oh, they are that. nine by twelve. They, okay. They are, here, here. They are nine by twelve. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Apparently, when I was working with a piece that I had, I didn't. Someone have a had full used strip. it. Okay. Right. Okay. Now we're going to go nice. <laughs> <laughs> into the cutting dies and more dazzles. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is the cutting die that was used. This is the fancy lattice. Now it has foam in it, and that foam is there to make it easier to release all of those little tiny pieces, but that's what it's going to look like. You can see the size of it right there on the package. Right. And so, wow. So you're, wow, you're seeing, <laughs> you're seeing the black, which has uh, been done, the die cut uh, with black cardstock, and then it was placed. Well, I'm going to show you okay. what was done. Well, there's also the double stick adhesive right. that was used. And this is the double stick adhesive. Um, this is a special adhesive because it has just the right amount of stickiness and tackiness right. to work with uh, this technique as well as so many others, including the micro glitter. Correct. So a piece about this large was cut. The double stick, th this cover was removed from the double stick. It was placed onto this white cardstock. Then the die cut of that lattice in cardstock was stuck on top of it. So if I, I don't know if you could, there, I think you could sort of see. <laughs> so you can see where the yeah, double stick, it. that yeah. double stick piece is there. The cardstock was placed on top. So now you've got that cardstock, which is not sticky on top, but you've still got all of those sticky areas behind. So Susan cut several different, uh, I'm going to keep it in this for the moment because they, they kind of <laughs> like to get away. She, she ran a pass of several different colored transparency sheets with these pieces to get all these little pieces out. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to mention that when she did that, she had to run uh, with a couple of cardstock shims to make oh. sure it would really cut through. You could also try metal flashing or metal plate. We've done that here to make sure that it fully cuts through. Then you take these little pieces, and another little tip from Susan is take a kind of a damp paper towel because they're so staticky. Honestly, they just kind of they want to fly away. They want to <laughs> get all over everything and take all of those little pieces and put them on ah. there. That's a good way to wrangle them, corral them, keep them all together so they're not getting everywhere. And then you take them one at a time, and I'm gonna use tweezers because it's just easier for me, and um, pick them up and place them one at a time on the adhesive within the cutting die. Okay, so, so just, um, 
do your kaleidoscope. Start doing your little, um, your little stained glass, and they, they fit right in there, if I can get, there we go. Yeah. And then they just stick there, align them correctly, and now, they fit in there. Now, as you do that, then the outside edge is still gonna be sticky. It's still sticky. So what do we do about that? Susan said, baby powder, or you've got a perfect pouch, and you can just go along the edges ah. like that, and that removes the stickiness, and then you can Excellent. still see. And then you don't have to cut all along there. Yeah, because okay. you don't want to do that. Yep. So there you have, what a wonderful stained glass kaleidoscope look. Now, the dazzle down there is the flowers and lace dazzle, and again, it was backed this time in uh, different colors for different areas right. rather than backing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And using more dazzles, you can see the border that works so well. Right. It's but part it also of the was placed on white cardstock because oh. if, if you hadn't, you'd have seen through the, the red would have gone right through oh, and you right. would have seen the blue. If I put this, if I put this on there, that's how it would have looked. Let me yeah. get that flower up here and you'll see the difference. So because it's on cardstock, you can right. see the white cardstock, it makes it So it supports nice. the color. Right. Okay, so beautifully done. Very, very fun. Oh, on the inside, color. she Ooh. did a very striking. <laughs> so beautiful? Just, just that little blue piece. Yeah, just using it as a mat. Again, you're getting a t an intense color. Mm -hmm. So this also would have been placed on the different colors, but also on, on the white cardstock, right. yes. So, so beautiful. I like the flower right I there do. too. Very nice. <laughs> and uh, so that's a, another way. Now here we come with a third way. Okay, and so this look is at very this. different. And that's just now it looks pearlized. And what you're looking at there is crystal micro glitter. Right. And um, also the two butter, three butterflies and two shadows, as and well the as the vine swirl, swirl, which is just beautiful. Right. Connects these, and so these are basically color blocks of the transparencies. And I have that here ready to show you. So what I have is I've taken the card front. So here's your card front. Let's do this one at a time. Oh, I've just got cardstock, but that's like your card. Okay. No, 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 it is a card front. I forgot. <laughs> okay, and I placed the double sided adhesive. I cut a piece the same size as the card, stuck it on there, and then you're going to remove the other layer. So now your card is covered okay. with that. And then we've got three little strips of the transparencies. They try to get away from me, but I'm not going to let them. <laughs> and there's kind of a wider one that Susan put at the bottom. I'm going to try to line these up, but I'm not directly over it, so if I miss, you'll have to forgive me. Uh, to line it up with the edges of your card. There we go. There's one, and then yellow. After you do that, you're going to put another one of these adhesive pieces right on top of it. So another piece of the oh. double-sided adhesive. Actually, I was just sitting here wondering, how are you going to get that glitter right, on there, Gail? Right. <laughs> well, I thought the same thing when I first started looking at it, and so I do want to try it. There we go. So now that's covered, you take another piece of the double-sided adhesive. So this is just Susan. She's smart. She's always yeah. figuring out these little things. If I can get that off. Well, it that. gives you such a wonderful look. Yeah. And, and that's what's what's great about it. Well, you know, when she first put this down, she looked at that and she says, oh, those bright colors, it looks like a flag. Are, are, are we sure it looks pretty enough? And, <laughs> <laughs> and then she added the glitter and all. It, it sort of changes the color. OK, I missed on the edge of that, but I'm going in a hurry because I don't want you to have to see all this process. And actually, I just want to point out what Gail just did. She was having a little trouble lifting up the paper, so she pressed harder on oh, right, it. right, right. And then... Uh, really push it down so one side will right. stick. Now, it is adhesive. It is tacky on this side. I can just go like that, <laughs> move it onto wherever I want it. I've got my... Ah! Crystal micro glitter. I'm going to slow down. Which we love. Which we do. It's from Stampendous. This goes a long ways. Now, you would think you're going to use a lot of micro glitter on here, but micro glitter goes so far. It does. A, just a tiny little layer will be on there, and then everything, most everything, will go back into the container, and you just start burnishing it. So you're just rubbing it with your finger. We call it burnishing. Mm -hmm. And that's to really get the glitter into the adhesive. Right. So, because you really, none of us want to be wearing glitter for the rest of the day. <laughs> Do we, Gail? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want it in my eyes or anything else. So there we go. Then we tap it off. And I would do it a few more times. Yeah, you want to do it about three times. You don't need to add more right. because, again, the goal is to just really push it into the adhesive. 
So I would, just, I would just lay it down and continue the process, but you can see that it's just a beautiful look. And here it is after all that burnishing two more times. Right. And the dazzles have been placed on the same with the same process, right? And it's right. going. Um, They've done the same thing. You back. You place the dazzle on the double-sided adhesive, and it's going to be stuck to cardstock or, or something like that. And over over the transparency right. in the same process. Right, and just a beautiful look. So you're yeah. getting that shimmery as well as um, just that pop of color. Right, just and beautiful. On the inside, so we've got a Celebrate done just the same just way. Just an extra little butterfly. Just gorgeous. So, so we're really getting into this, yeah. huh? <laughs> now, you mentioned embossing folders. I think you did. Right. And did. here is this done with, let me see, this is with the swirl frame. And it's just just beautiful. This is, it's in a beautiful embossing folder to begin with, with all of those swirls with that mm -hmm. great label in the middle. But done on this red, I mean, I, I can't really describe what I, I've looked at that and go, what does that remind? Oh, you know, I think it reminds me like painted metal or something. Oh, I like think you're that. right. Yeah, but such a, of, a yeah. beautiful color. Right, and that was merely done with the embossing folder run through on the uh, transparency. Okay, so you're going to show that. So there's the transparency. That's the red one. It was put in the place in the embossing folder and run through the machine. And then Debbie took the stays on black ink pad. And she just, and um, I don't want to do this on the I table. know, I don't have a craft yeah. sheet. Why don't here. I have a craft I have, sheet over I here? I have something, but, you know, there we go. So now you're not going to see it as much. <laughs> right. I am. Yeah, that's not going to work. Good grief. Here, okay, let I'm me so give prepared. you pink. Thank you. And then you just, with the top of that, just start swiping across right. the top just kind of lightly. And the center, the center of the card that she did, I don't mind getting on there because she covered it up with a black piece that was cut. Another, uh, do another one in the embossing folder with black cardstock. Oh gosh, right. look at that. It's and, just striking. Right. And the reason that, and then she placed it on white cardstock. You notice that it looks like a different color when, I, when it's on the pink, put it next right. to the card. So depending, yeah. depending on the cardstock you put it on, it's just a little bit different. It's almost orangey this it way. It is. So what you're saying is that because um, this is a black covered card, right. that this embossed area would have done an, out of the red, right. but then you want to cut it at, with white cardstock to match right. it right. and then cut so out this opening. Backed, so it's been backed on white cardstock. Then you cut that black. That doesn't even have to be cut out the opening. You can just oh, you cut can it just, out of black right. cardstock and layer it right. right on there. Now this is the obviously sympathy dazzles along with the black jewel dazzles going into those corners. You could make that for any occasion. And then this is Beautiful. once again just using that transparency for right. the pop of color. So just there a gorgeous guess. look. So another way to use the transparency. Another way. With okay. an embossing folder. And there's more. <laughs> okay. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's just beautiful. Those flowers are just wonderful. Isn't that nothing short of amazing? <laughs> so we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to use a stamp. Now, we wanted a giant flower, so the Fresh Cut is just a perfect set for that. Right. And we also used on this one the design tool number three, and that's going to give us this design yes, as well as that edge right. right there, right? And you'll see like? it more on the inside. Yeah, so it's yeah. Got a label shape on that design tool kit too. But those flowers really are the star. Yes, they are. And what was done was stays on. You have to use a stays on or a surfaces, something like that, to mm -hmm. stamp on these transparencies. And by the way, they're not. Um, they're still flexible. No, a little bit. I yeah. mean, they're not stiff. They're not going to crack, right. I don't think. So you they're, can still put those in an envelope and yeah. they would flatten down a little bit. Yeah. And you're right. Yeah. So that's, you don't have to be afraid of it. <laughs> right. So here is one of those flowers before. I mean, it was stamped. It was stamped on the orange, <laughs> this one, with stays on. And now I'm going to grab onto that. Actually, it was then cut out around right. all of the little petals. And then I'm going to hold on to that with tweezers and I'm going to get the heat gun and start heating the edges of it. And we'll see. I'm going to start heating from the back to see what it Sounds does Sounds like a good first. idea. Oops. It's sort of getting away from me. I think I better get a better grip on it. Okay. 
don't want it to, there we go, don't want it to move around. So if I start on the edges, stay a couple of inches away, get it heated up, and then we'll see how long it takes. There they go. So <laughs> if I go on the back, it'll curl forward. That's, oh. so there we go. And you can see it curly. Depends on how long you want to play with it to see how much it does, how much it's going to curl. So that's the way that's done. And I could probably lightly, yeah, it's, it's not hot now already. You could probably curl it up a little. So play with that a little bit. And what you'll get is lots of little shapes like this <laughs> when you're all done. Okay, <laughs> or more shapes like this. And I right. can see why that kind of daisy works nicely too, because yeah, it's right. going to give you all those petals. But the leaves are great too. I love the yeah. leaves. They're all folded yeah. up and curly. And this is um, stickles in the center, I'm assuming. Sure. There Gold we go. stickles. And uh, these are from the Everyday Greetings Dazzles down here at the bottom. In fact, that is uh, this set, Everyday. So, and we'll see that on the next project right. too. Three packs. Now I'm those. reminded that you did that same process with the shimmer sheets. Right. So again, they're doing that curling, and you can control that. But again, right. so it's this intense color which is so fun to play with that we've seen on all of these projects. We have one more. We do. And okay. this is using it so you can see those layers of stars on the front. Right. You notice that that dark layer started first. If you had made the large one red, then you wouldn't see the other colors right. in the center. Right. Gotcha. But are you watching now? Yeah. Okay. Here we're we going to go. open up and look what we have. We have a star popping out. And that's from the star pop-up template. Right. This is the 3D, 3D pop-up pop cards, cards template. There we go. And it has a butterfly, it has a cake, it has, it a, has a heart. Right, and a star. And so, a star. so and just beautiful. It has a present. And a present too. Right. A little present down there. So there's a little So you can see all of them. <laughs> 3D pop up cards. Right. So I haven't seen that one in a while, so ah. that was really neat to see that used. And <laughs> that's, you know, that's really kind of something that is probably about this whole webisode is to take the product and then start playing with it with right. all these different materials. Finding now, out what you can do with it. Or let so, us play with it. So <laughs> this piece was, this the yellow piece basically was done, you use the pop-up card template right. to trace and cut out. Out of yellow. Out of yellow. But mm -hmm. before you start folding, trace some of the, uh, trace and cut out an orange and a red and right. place them right on top. You can zot them on top. Exactly. Or use ultra tape. Ultra clear tape would work great. And the gold border dazzles were used around the edge. Behind the edges, and right. And even though this is a movable one, those dazzles are staying stuck. So they that's are. nice. They're stuck right on there. And I love that you can obviously score and fold this mm -hmm. transparency really easily. And that also the dazzles on the front. So right. that was. Now there is one more thing that we found in our research, and this was at a website where for uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. And so what they were saying is to take this type of material and to cut it into strips, and use that for students to do uh, to do for reading, right. so that they can really isolate those lines of text Read as they're learning. One, one line at a time. Yeah. and a lot of teachers do that. That's a pretty traditional And method. this was at learningspecialistmaterials.blogspot.nl. Oh okay. my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's that. the blog spot is all you need. Yeah, yeah. you'll find that. So Great. as you can see, we have taken this whole variety of colored transparencies <laughs> and have done, I think, some pretty wonderful things. I'm so glad that you let us play with them. Yes, and we want to say this is the end of 2014. That's right. And uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, and we'll see you next year. Right. <laughs>